If I die instantly, there's no fear. If I have an immediate heart attack, gone, there's no fear. But my heart is weak, I might die, which is the future. The future is the movement of fear. Get it? See the truth of it, not your conclusion. Not your saying, yes, I see it. The truth of it. Then that very truth operates. You don't have to do a thing. If you see that truth, and that truth being a fact, then thought says, all right, I've finished. You can't, thought cannot operate on a fact. It can operate on something non-fact. So can you, after having listened to this verbiage, have you realised the nature of fear? See the truth of it. If you really see the truth of it, fear has gone. It's not that you control thought, you are the thought. You understand? This is one of our peculiar conditioning that you are different from thought. And therefore you say, I'll control thought. But when you realise that thought itself is the me, and that thought has created this future, which is fear, and the, see the truth of it, not intellectually see the truth, you can't see the truth intellectually, you can see intellectually the clear, verbal explanation. But that's not the truth. The truth is the fact that the future, whole movement of the future, is giving birth to fear. Uh, now, you have listened to this, perhaps in different ways, in different explanations on different occasions, and you are gathered here again, and you have listened this morning to a very clear explanation, which is not an analysis, and are you free of fear? That is the test. You are still carrying on, you say, I'm afraid of, of you know, all the rest of that business, then you, are, you haven't really listened. <laughs>